that's Scott. I've known him for almost seven years now. He's an Olympic gymnast with 15 international medals to his name. Cam's a kinesiologist. We've been friends since grade four, and he's definitely got the biggest personality out of the three of us. And then there's me, I'm Zach. I was studying mechanical engineering when my chronic knee injury sparked an idea. And that's what brought the three of us together. So all three of our founding team members have had joint pain in some way or another. We kind of just came to the conclusion that everything that exists just doesn't cut it. And we can make something better. So we did. So these are all of the old joint support solutions that we have had to use. Our personal collection. Something like this is just a compression sleeve. It doesn't actually provide any joint support. All the way up to Zach's $1,500 fully custom supportive knee brace. Very supportive, but also very rigid and very uncomfortable. 1967, the first knee brace was made, and it had two hinges and straps to hold those hinges onto the side of your leg. And that's exactly the same as what you can buy today. It's just insane to think that bracing technology has barely changed in 50 years. Instead of using rigid materials to push against the leg, we actually use a network of flexible materials to wrap over the joint and pull it into alignment. It allows us to actually provide more support while increasing comfort and mobility for the user, as well as integrating it directly into the clothing that they already wear. People want that invisible solution. They actually want the experience of not ever having to wear a brace. People get excited. It really does sound like something that can't be done or it's the holy grail and the first question we get is, does it work? The answer is yes. <laughs> I'm really proud of, of what we do as a team because we've actually built something from the ground up. We started with nothing more than an idea and now we have an office space and prototypes and funding and employees and it's a thing that we've built. At the end of the day, if you want to go out and solve a problem and you have the drive to get through the hard days, do it. People will come along for the ride with you. <laughs> Everything we do is unconventional. You know, there's lots of ways to support a joint, but there's only one way to embrace it. <laughs> wow. Why do we let you do the pitching again? <laughs>